uh, as well. Hasn't created any uh, situations like that, but we have seen some, uh, not necessarily fog, but some smoke out there. What's going on? Creating a little bit of a haze, a historic month to say the least, Justin, and this is definitely going to be one for the books. This morning, we're keeping a close watch on those showers and thunderstorms. Thankfully, as it pushed through our area, we really started to lose that momentum. But we are keeping a close watch on those lightning strikes, seeing those on the uptick right now, mainly in that cell just south of Fayetteville. We do have a few light showers, mainly south of Muskogee, over to Fort Smith and into Poto. So this morning, that's the only rainfall we're seeing on radar. Rainfall totals here in our area, we're happy to see some of this green prior picked up right around a little over an inch of rainfall. And that's where you're seeing some of those green outline areas just off to uh, the east of Tulsa County. So that's where we're seeing the bulk of that precipitation. Unfortunately, where you weren't seeing any color was over in the Panhandle. The Panhandle really needs that rainfall. I know we all do, but they especially because of those winds yesterday, gusting upward of 75, even 80 miles per hour in the Panhandle. I know we had bad winds, but that is also creating some fire issues with that lack of precipitation. And those north winds now in play, that's what's dragging that in this morning. These north winds now with 17 miles per hour sustained will have periodic gusts pushing about 25 miles per hour this morning. And with those north winds, it's dragging in that smoke from the panhandle. So that's why if you step outside, you might have a little bit of an issue out the door, maybe smelling that smoke as well. Sensitive groups be advised. We're talking any uh, uh, heart disease, any uh, people that have issues with the lungs, make sure that you are prepared or maybe limit any time outdoors uh, for today until they can get those wildfires taken care of. What a variation with those temperatures where you saw those showers firing up 56 in Stigler, 45 here in Tulsa. McAllister, I've had my eye on you guys this morning. You were at 70 degrees within the last half hour, dropping off quite a bit. 40s in most locations, so a coat needed as you're headed out the door this morning. Winds will be with us this morning as well. I do expect those to taper off quite a bit for the afternoon, so not nearly as powerful from start to finish as what we had yesterday, but periodic guess this morning, about 25 miles per hour. We'll keep those temperatures in the 40s and then 50s as we head into the afternoon, not climbing out of those 50s. I went ahead and dropped us down about 58 for the daytime high, seeing that those north winds are in play about 5 to 15 miles per hour. As we look towards the evening sunset now at 512, clouds building in, and yes, we have rain chances, not a until tomorrow. We'll see this system lift back into the area and that's going to drive in showers and a few thunderstorms and with that we'll see some heavier pockets of rainfall. Here's what we're looking at in terms of how much rainfall potential to keep in mind these are projected models looking at a good soaking across the area with a lot of us looking at either half an inch to right around an inch of total accumulation. As we look at the weekend we'll be dried out but temperatures falling off quite a bit. First hard freeze likely to arrive Saturday night into Sunday. Let's pull to your time saver track.